Hi everybody, Steve Zara here from Zara Dental Lab and in this lab video I am going to demonstrate five useful tips that's going to make your user experience even better with the Envision One printer. And before we get started, if you're interested in purchasing an Envision One printer, you can always contact me for more information on Instagram Messenger or Facebook Messenger. Tip number one is to invest a few dollars into a backup battery supply. Um, this will pay for itself over time because eventually you will lose power at some some time while you're printing and this is going to save your prints. This next tip is something you're almost guaranteed you're going to do. You're going to turn on your Envision 1, you're going to start your print job, and you're going to forget to turn on your oxygen generator. I added this little sticker to always remind me that every time I go to add resin, it's right in my face and it's telling me to turn on the oxygen machine. I also have it right on the button, on the start button. This is gonna prevent you from turning, for forgetting to turn on the oxygen generator, my oxygen. The good news is if you forget to turn on your oxygen generator, your models will still print and it's not gonna harm the machine, but unfortunately the prints won't be very good. Tip three is pretty simple, but it's going to happen to a new user. You're going to forget to add enough resin into the resin tray. So when you go to print your models, this is what's going to happen when you don't have enough resin. And these are what your models will look like. So a very simple cure is obviously to fill your basement with enough resin for each print. This next tip has to do with the build plate. Pretty simple. You've knocked off all your models, everything's fine no matter what you're printing. but the last thing I like to do is I got this little trick at uh, uh, this little guy at Home Depot. It's, a, it's an ice scraper, window scraper. It costs like three or four dollars. And I like, I like it because it covers the whole build plate. So I can scrape off and if there's any type of resin that's left on here, it'll, it'll pop it off. That way this is smooth as glass. Why is that so important? The next time you go to print, that piece of resin that's stuck on your build plate is going to come down slowly and it's going to perforate your oxygen layer, ruining your resin tray, causing damage. You do not want this. Um, if you want your resin tray to last for a long time, well, I got some tips for you in the next video coming up that are going to help you. There's something I was doing when I first got my Envision 1 that caused a, a problem and it was all my fault. I didn't realize it because I've never had a printer like this before. I was holding the tray like this and you can see what I'm doing. It happens I have resin that's on, built up on my fingertips, on my gloves. The resin is now touching the glass. I wouldn't uh, necessarily think it was a big deal but what happens is this sits out and the light hits it and it cures. A thin layer of resin, you can see it, will be cured on your glass. This is not gonna allow the light to penetrate the glass because now you have cured resin. A very simple fix is to always make sure this is clean before you insert your tray. Don't put your fingertips, always keep them on the outside and you'll never have a problem. You stay busy, my friends. Stay healthy as always. We'll see you in the next one.